Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. The things have asked me to talk about Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's second Bani, Sri Akal Ustad from Sri Dasan Granth Sahib Ji. So today I'm going to share some facts with you, some of my favourite parts and themes that Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj addresses in Sri Akal Ustad in the lead up to Maharaj's Aftar Parab on the 9th. So what does Akal Ustad mean? Akal Ustad is two words. Ustad we often hear means praise. And Akal is a word we use for Vaheguru, but it's actually made up of A and then Kaal. Kaal means death or time bound, so something which is temporary, which is bound by time, which will one day die or be destroyed. And as soon as we put the era in front of it, it becomes Akal, which means something which is timeless, immortal, eternal, it is beyond birth and death, it cannot be destroyed. So Akal Ustad is the praise of that one eternal, immortal, all-powerful being, Vaheguru, or we often call them God. Akal Ustad is a literary masterpiece of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. In this one Bani, we see the revolutionary nature of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. We see the way they challenge the status quo, they challenge social, philosophical, theological, spiritual practices that take place in the world or take, were taking place in the world at that time, and to be honest, are currently still taking place. We see how Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj challenges them, challenges them directly, and we see how Maharaj then lifts us above those practices and gives us a true way to worship Vaheguru, a true way not just to worship but to breathe, breathe live, and speak as Vaheguru would want us to. When those who understand Akal Ustad and we read and have a good understanding of Gurbani, we can see the metaphors, the similes, the personification, and everything that comes out of Akal Ustad. It's written in Farsi, in Persian, Arabic, Punjabi, Hindi words are used, Sanskrit words are used throughout Sri Akal Ustad. And once we have that deeper understanding, we have a good understanding of Gurmukhi, of Punjabi, and have an understanding of what Gurbani tells us, we can then start imagining those themes right in front of us. So it is a masterpiece. You can see in front of you what Maharaj is saying when they say any of this bhakti, which we'll look at slightly later. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj in this, but in this Bani Sri Akal Ustad used the composition uses eleven different types of poetic measures or, or meters. So Tirupangi Chand, Kabit, for example, or Savaya, Dohara, Chaupe. They use eleven different types in this Gurbani, and each one is written in a particular beat and said in a particular way. And when we share them, we'll try and share them correctly as well. In this revolutionary Bani, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj directly challenges the status quo. They tell us that Paramatma, Vahiguru, God is beyond gender, creed, status, historical locations, everything, they're beyond that. And to meet that Vahiguru, to meet that one being, we must have faith in our hearts and love in our hearts. Our actions matter. What I will do now is share some of my favourite themes from this Gurbani. One theme that Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj touches upon over and over again in Akal Ustad is the idea of that things are temporary, things will come and go. And those things could be reincarnations of mythological beings, they could be deities, they could be anyone, but they are all temporary. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj says in a kabit, Ek seva pahe, ek gay, ek phir pahe, Ram Chandra Krishna ke avatar pi anek hai. That Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is telling us that ek seva pahe, that there was one Shivji who would come to this planet, who was reincarnated into this planet, he went as well. And another one was born instead in his place, another Shivji, who is replaced. Ram Chandra Krishna ke Avtar And in this Kabit Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj says, even Sri Ram Chandra or Sri Krishna, Inna Devi Avtar, Avtar hai, they have been reincarnated over and over again as well. This is in line with Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj's Bani. Some of us may think, is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's Bani different to Guru, 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 Guru Granth Sahib Ji's Bani? Of course not. In Gurbani it tells us, Ram Gayo, Ravan Gayo, Jaka, Baha Parvar, Kaha Nanak, Tere Kach Nehi, Sopne Jyo Sansar. In Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj says that Ram Gayo, Ram had gone, Ravan Gayo, the demon Ravan had gone as well, Jaka, Baha Parvar, even though they're such big families and that everyone around them. One particular verse in Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj that I absolutely love. They say, Lanka gad sone ka paya, murk ravan kya le gaya. They say that Ravan had created his area, his, his land out of gold. Lanka gad sone ka paya, made all of gold. But ultimately, Guru, Guru, Guru Sahib Ji tells us, murk ravan, what did that fool ravan, kya le gaya, what did he take away with him? 
who actually went with him. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj in Sri Aghalosta talks about that temporary nature of life, of society. And we, me, you and our families will come and go. As difficult it is to hear that, it is the reality. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj also talks about this idea that devotion matters, love in the heart matters for Vaheguru. We hear in Savaiya, in Tuaya Prasad Savaiya that we read every day, they're from Sri Aghalosta. Those also from, from Sri that is also from Akalustad. The different chants within, within Akalustad which we read in a daily in our Gurbani, in our Nitinim. So in the Sri to Prasad Nitinim, this way we read that Guru Gobind Singh writes that those who have loved, those who have love in their heart for Vaheguru and have a relationship with Vaheguru. Then he Prabhupada, those are the people who obtain Vaheguru, they obtain the happiness, the Sukh, and the, the Jaran and the Saran of Vaheguru. Guru Gomi Singh Yimara says, Kei Ram Krishna Rasool, Bin Pagat Ko Na Kabool. Guru Gomi Singh Yimara says, It is many people, many prophets have come and gone, Bin Pagat Ko Na Kabool, but without that devotion, Pagat, within, without that love in their heart, Ko Na Kabool, that none of those have been accepted. It is our devotion, our love, our commitment to Vaheguru that matters. Not what we wear, what we look and what we say. Actions matter. And Guru Gurmi Sinyu Maharaj emphasizes that on a regular basis in, in their Gurban. By emphasizing that actions matter, Guru Gurmi Sinyu says in a card, Ustad, Dube Narak Taar, Moor Gyan Ke Bina Bichar, Pavana Bahine Kaise Pa Gyan Ko Bichar Hi. Maharaj says that Dube Narak Taar, those people who are drowned, are drowning in, 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 in this idea of hell. Mur gyan ke bina bachar. Why? Because those people have not have contemplated that knowledge. They've taken that knowledge. Mur gyan ke bina bachar. They've taken that knowledge but have not understood. They have not contemplated that knowledge and practically understood what that knowledge means. How that knowledge is supposed to make me better, not make me worse. How that knowledge is supposed to be improving my personality, my characteristics, not making me more egotistical. And think I'm better than other people. And why? Because without devotion in their heart, you see how the themes start linking together that Guru Gobind Singh Ji is touching upon. They touch upon deities and, 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 and prophets. At the same time, they're saying none of that matters without devotion. And then talk about devotion, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj does, but they're saying devotion matters because your actions matter, not just by looking the part, acting the part. Your actual devotion, that time when you sit and in your on your own or in Sangat to do similar to do Vaheguru, that matters, that counts. Not all the time to talk about doing it but not actually doing it. Bajarihi is how can we actually take that knowledge and really and truly understand that knowledge if we don't live that knowledge and we don't have love for that knowledge, that knowledge of Gurbani that is give, that is Guru Sahib is giving us. Naturally we will ask ourselves what is God? Where is God? Who is God? We're doing the praise of God, but where is he? And Guru Gomis and Yumala says actually that each and every single one of us has a part of Vaheguru within them. We may not recognize it, that part might be very deep within us, but it is there. Guru, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Jizbani says, Kata kata mein har jubas hai, santa na kahi upakar, that each and every single one of us in our hearts there is Vaheguru. Santa na kahi upakar, the saints are crying out and telling us this knowledge. And Guru Gomis and Yumala furthers, and tells us when, we, when the question is asked, who is God and where is God? Guru Sahib explains, Kahun paanahari, kahun vidya ke bichari, kahun jogi jati brahmachari, nar kahun nar ho. Guru Gomis Singh says in this particular kabit, they say that Vaheguru is kahun paanahari, he's everywhere, but sometimes he's paanahari, he comes onto this earth and he's someone who just lives on air, he doesn't need any other thing to eat, drink, nothing, he's there within us. And he lives and breathes and lives on that air. They say, ke bichari. Sometimes that Vaheguru comes down as a scholar, someone who contemplates knowledge and spreads that knowledge. Jogi jati brahmachari. Kadi Vaheguru, sometimes Vaheguru comes and, and on this planet to help us so we can realize. Sometimes he comes as a jogi, someone who practices Vaheguru and devotion to Vaheguru as a, as a yogic sense. Jati Brahmachari, someone who p- p- performs and shows us what discipline is looks like and how to live a disciplined lifestyle. And also, Maharaj also, this is what really, in my own eyes, is something which blows me away. Narakahu Narho. That Vaheguru sometimes comes as a man and sometimes comes as a woman. 
that Y group is beyond gender. That's what Marduk is getting at. They're beyond yoga. They're beyond everything. They're beyond knowledge. Because they are everywhere. They are everyone. And they come and take a form. And it could be every single one of us. Because we already are Vaheguru. And Guru Sahib Ji says it further. And then we think about defining God as a male or female. Which is sometimes kind of really pushed in, in the Western world. Marduk says, Na deva hai, na deva hai. That Vaheguru is not a deity. Neither is Vaheguru a demon. Na narko sarupa hai. Neither is Vaheguru a man. Vaheguru is beyond all of that. Vaheguru is our jyot and we are part of that jyot. One thing Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj is absolutely clear about in Sri Galostad is that we as humans, we have created divisions. Vaheguru did not create any divisions. We as individuals have created, created divides and we have said you are good, you are bad, you are black, you are white. I like you, I don't like you, you're like me, you're not like me. But Vaheguru did not create any of these divisions. Guru Sahib Ji says, Hindu Turk ko Rafa Ji Imama Safi Manasa ki jad sabah ek hai pahe janabo That oh Vaheguru That some of us associate ourselves to Hindus Being a Hindu, Turk Being a, some from a Turkish background I kind of alluding towards being a Muslim Rafa, Rafa Ji Imama Safi Guru Sahib Ji says, others will say I'm a Sunni or a Shia A particular type of a Muslim But Maharaj says, Manasa ki jad But human beings Their race that is all one. Be it someone from Southeast Asia, or someone from the Middle East, or someone from America, it doesn't matter, we are all one. And that's what my Guru is saying. Agya Guru Sahib Ji says, Jimi Jaman ke bikhe samast ek jyot hai, na kaat hai, na baad hai, na kaat baad hoot hai. That my Guru's jyot, that light, is in everywhere. Jimi Jaman ke bikhe samast ek jyot hai. In the land, in the skies, and everywhere is that one jyot of Vaheguru. Na kaat hai, na baad hai, na kaat baad hota hai. It is not more or less than anyone. It is not more because it's higher up in the sky. Or people who live higher up, they have more of Vaheguru's uh, jyot in them. No, or someone who's further down has less of the jyot. No. Na kaat hai, na baad hai, na kaat baad hota hai. It is exactly the same amount in everyone. We just need to realize that. That light pervades everywhere. So these are some key messages I wanted to share with you in this short video as asked by the saints and seek to inspire about Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj's second Bani, Sri Akal Ustad. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.